Good morning, my little chicken nuggets. Hope y'all are having a fine day today. It's a nice rainy day. Uh, well, coming to you live from, what day is today? Monday. Coming to you live from Monday. So it's a nice rainy day today. I don't know what Tuesday has in store. I want to understand pretty much more rain. But I hope you're having a great morning so far. So I have to do a video from my front porch because I had to run home today to um, to meet uh, a guy to install a new dishwasher in our house. And um, shout out to Benson, to uh, shout out to Benson's uh, appliances, doing a great job of getting us a new dishwasher and and um, appreciate uh, them and, and Gracie Squires, shout out to her. Uh, so we got a new dishwasher installed because ours broke. So it's been a fun, interesting week, right? We've been talking about pressing on and talking about, you know, Brady Joe trying to challenge me, which, you know, I'm way faster than she is. But anyway, she challenging me and then a bunch of y'all telling me y'all wanted to challenge me. So anyway, but in the process of all that, so at our house, we've had um, our AC broke and went out. So we got to replace the whole unit. Uh, then our dishwasher broke last week. The AC is still broke, by the way. Uh, shout out to Miss Pam, uh, Miss Pam of the Moor, for giving us a window unit that we could stick in our kitchen window. So at least, you know, one quarter of the house is somewhat cool. But thanks, shout out to her for that. That was awesome. But anyway, so our AC broke, still broke. Uh, our dishwasher broke, which thanks to Benson Appliance, has uh, been fixed today, been replaced today, so that's good. But we had to replace it. It wasn't fixable. And then um, our uh, our uh, field lines have also been worked on twice recently, and they are going to apparently need to be replaced. So it's been fun. And then um, we still have a couple of other issues that, that have left from the past, and so uh, we got a little roof leak, stuff like that. So it's been a fun, interesting couple of weeks. So the idea of pressing on, this idea I was thinking about t today when we were, I was watching the guy put in the dishwasher, and I was like, we don't really need a dishwasher. You know? How many of y'all got dishwashers at your house? Y'all do? Most of you probably do. But here's the story. So when, when, I, was in, when I was in college, um, the place I lived didn't have a dishwasher. And then when Miss Butts and I got married, which how many years ago was it? Do y'all remember? y'all remember how many years ago it was that's right 23 years ago we got married and um it didn't have a dishwasher where we lived then we moved to another place down the road it also didn't have a dishwasher and then we moved to another place across town this is all while we're still in college and it didn't have a dishwasher <laughs> so we we promised ourselves that after we got out of college that we were never going to have a place without a dishwasher and so when our dishwasher broke last week we were like, well, can't fix the AC, can't fix the septic, but we're going to get a dishwasher. <laughs> so we got a dishwasher. But anyway, but I digress. So anyway, this idea, right, of pressing on. So so most of you have dishwashers. Sometimes we think, uh, you know, like I said, when I, we were first married, we didn't have a dishwasher. And there's probably some of you that maybe don't have one. And uh, or you know people who live in a house that, that don't have one. And so you don't have to have one. But sometimes we think that we do because we get used to it. Sometimes we, in our Christian life, it's like that way too. It's like we, we think we need things that we really don't. Or just not even our Christian life, just in regular life. Uh, as a Christian, we think we have to have something when we really and truly we don't. Because God calls us to live a life uh, that, that follows his son, that follows the example he set for us. And so some of these things that we think we have to have are really just extra stuff. And so we get caught up in it, but the reality is we don't have to have it. So look, my dog's out here with me. Come here, Dixie. He you say hey to all the kiddos? Hey, Dixie. Are oh, you just gonna ignore him? Hey, Dixie. Hey, look at here. Look, look at the camera. Look, look right here, look. Dixie, look. Dixie, look, look. Look, Kenzie's watching. Look, Kenzie's watching. Say hey to Kinsley. He's looking for you, Kinsley. She's looking for you. Okay, so my dog's out here, right? So my dog thinks that um, she deserves and that she has to be where we are. 
The reality is that she doesn't. And a lot of times I wish that she wasn't. <laughs> Y'all ever had a puppy before? She's not very old. Uh, let's see, where is she? She's only a couple of months old, so she's still very much a puppy, but she thinks she's gotta be everywhere we have, that we are that we are at. She also thinks that um, she gets to rule the roost and gets to go wherever she wants to go, whenever she wants to go. And so we have to correct her on that because she doesn't have to, although she thinks she does. So sometimes, sometimes we're a lot like puppies. Now, anyways, my point is this. Sometimes as Christians, uh, we see things that are blessings as just something that we deserve. Or we see things that are in our life that we think, oh, I, I have to have that or I need to have that. And reality is God said, no, you, you don't. And we look back at uh, what Paul said. We talked about Paul a lot, right? So Paul says, I have learned to be content with, with a lot. I've learned to be content with a little. Then in Philippians 4.13, which some of you know, let me say, who would know that verse? Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. Who of all my peeps would know that verse? Lydia Smith, you know that verse? I know that you do. Philippians 4.13, you want to quote it for us? That's right. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. But Paul's talking about there the fact that he can live with nothing. He can live with a lot. But either way, he's living for Christ. So sometimes we get caught up in the things that we think we have to have in order to live a happy life. Sometimes we get caught up in thinking, well, these are things I've got to have or else God doesn't love me. Or sometimes we think that the blessings that we have, that God has blessed us with, are just things that we deserve or that we've earned it somehow. And the reality is, not all that's true. Like salvation, for instance. Sometimes we think that we're, we might be good enough that we deserve salvation. The reality is we don't. The Bible tells us all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, so we don't deserve that. We don't deserve to be in heaven. But Jesus came and died for us for us to have it. So what I want to challenge you with today is look around in the old song we used to sing, and most of you are probably too young to have sung this song. There's an old song we used to sing that said, Count your many blessings, name them one by one. That is some good advice, because if you can count your blessings, you realize that everything you have, you don't necessarily deserve, and everything that you have isn't necessarily a necessity. Sometimes things are blessings, and we just confuse blessings with necessities. So I want you to take time today, when we're pressing on through this life and do all this crazy stuff, to count your blessings. So I'm going to call on some folks, I want y'all to, to name at least one blessing you have in your life. It's not difficult. I'm not asking you to name 20. Just, you know, just name one thing that you think that is a huge blessing to me. So let me think. Who do I want to call on? All right, Sydney Lankford. Name one thing for me that's a blessing for you. Just one thing. Ready, set, go. Yes, that's right, Sydney. That That's good to think about that as a blessing. Good job. Good job. All right, so who else can I call on? to be to name a blessing that they have hunter butler hunter butler what, what's what's a blessing that you have in your life can you name one of course you can good job hunter that's a good blessing good job all right let's see who else can i call on mm, trevor trevor salarzano what about you what's a blessing that you have trevor can you name one for us yes good job trevor that was excellent excellent so I want to challenge you today, while you're pressing on and while you're thinking about living this Christian life, count your blessing. Count your blessings and see what they are and see what you can name that you that you know God has blessed you with. All right, guys, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for all this, all the blessings we have. Thank you, Father, for this day, and thank you, Father, for our loved ones and the people around us that just take care of us. And we thank you for the fact that you love us enough to bless us with your Son and help us to never take that for granted. And help us to never think of that as something that we deserve. And Father, I pray that we'll be more like your son each and every day in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my little chicken nuggets. Hope you all have a great day today. And uh, me and Brady Joe are going to get it on in, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this monkey bar challenge here soon. Uh, I might bring my little puppy up there to, for the challenge. She could probably outrun both of us. Um, a lot of you have given me some good ideas on who to race in the field, and they're all really hard. I need somebody that's easier, so y'all give me some easier suggestions. 
So, hope you have a great day today. I hope you have a I hope you stay dry, and I will see you soon, my little chicken nuggets. Have a great day. Remember, God loves you.